Hello everybody and welcome back to more Project Zomboid. Back in the vanilla run, the starter guide, long play, something something, back on Riverside. And I'm excited to get back into it. We still have a bit of daytime left, because we, uh, we left at an awkward time last time, almost dinner time. And um, I wanted to check a couple things. Actually I don't have all that much of a plan. I do want to go back to the little shopping center to our west. And I wanted to uh, see if we can find some more fuel today. And um, yeah, mostly just barricade this place. Because I, I don't really have a base location in mind. But honestly, this place is fine. If it's not too busy around your home, might as well just board it up. That's what a lot of people will do. Ideally, I would like to have something with another story on top, but eh, I'm not too uh, too set on it anyways. But first, let's check out this car. I do remember it being pretty good, but I don't rem remember a lot of uh, specifics. Let's see, gas tank is not in great condition, but I don't think we should lose any fuel over it because of it um, the muffler condition for instance is something that would make uh, a difference a shitty muffler makes more noise which makes a lot of sense but you know it's one of those things you never you know you're never quite sure if you're supposed to accept that level of detail in the game mm. oh, I already spotted some zombies should be fine to just drive past but I might as well. I might as well take care of him. I also just wanted to make sure I have an empty gas can. I do. Sweet. <coughs> I'm also just kind of hoping this place might have a garage. I'm not sure. Hey. That's pretty good. Where's my long, long blunt level one? Ooh, can we get? Oh shit, 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 shit! That's sketchy. <laughs> one of them could not, could have launched at me. It's so tempting to run up to uh, a crawling zombie and try to capitalize, you know, them being down, because you do more damage on zombies when they're down. I'm not sure exactly how it works if it's a multiplier or you just do crits but um, it's definitely worthwhile if if you can do it in a way that's not too risky now I'm gonna take these door hinges and doorknobs because if we ever have to fix up our door we're gonna need some of those I just like hoarding them like like garbage bags actually about that <laughs> We're not going to need them most likely very soon. It's just nice to have them. Alright, man. Baseball bats are so good. I... I usually use a lot of short blunts and stuff. And uh, often I'll use crowbars if I do use long blunt. But that's partially because I normally have this mod that lets you um, open doors and windows with a crowbar. So I need to have that one on me anyways. So then typically I won't bring the... <clears throat> typically I won't take the, the baseball bats. Because I need a crowbar anyways. But now that I don't have that mod, I actually use the baseball bat and it is so good. Okay, I'm not seeing any garages really close by. That's the burnt home we were already at. That shed we've looted last time. <coughs> oh. Not sure what I did there, but it's okay. And there's Drowsy. Which is... 
a good reason to talk about Moodles. I think I didn't mention Moodles all that much last time. Moodles are very important to keep to keep track of. I see a lot of people playing with a lot of Moodles and they'll be swinging at zombies and swinging and not doing a lot of damage and getting exerted and tired and nearly getting themselves overrun. And I'm like, man, I wish you <laughs> would pay more attention to it. I wish more people would know the, the details, you know. There are so many little things to know, of course. So, one very... Oh, shit. One very important thing to know is Drowsy. Uh, it, it just says, could do with a lie down, if you have it. But what it does is, uh, it reduces your damage output by 50%. Also, it um, makes your stamina regeneration slower. That doesn't sound that bad, but if you also have less stamina, because you get exerted, uh, even at moderate exertion, you only do 50% damage. So that's two damage debuffs, so 50% that stack. So just those two Moodles mean you only do 25% of your normal damage. Which means you're going to have to swing four times as often, probably. Which means you're going to get more exerted. You know, it's this really nasty endless cycle. Matches, matches are good. I'm also going to take the hand fork. Hand forks are not great weapons. But we can always use it for farming. Because we can dig furrows with it. Um, did I kill? I killed the firefighter, right? Yeah, I remember him coming after me, but I don't remember where his body dropped. Firefighter has a helmet. It's really warm. He has a gas mask, which is just really cool. He also has a jacket in decent condition and pants in perfect condition. I will take them. They are very warm. And very protective. In winter they are fantastic. I don't think... No, I have boots. I'll just drop those on the floor. They should just stay here if I ever need boots. I'll probably find them. I'm gonna drop the clothes and the broken baseball bat in the truck. In the van. Often I'll just uh, drop broken weapons because I can't be bothered to repair them but baseball bats I will fix once you can use I think yeah wood glue will fix 35% that's not a whole lot but maybe that that goes up if as we um, level our carpentry I'm not sure actually I will drop the tissues in the tarp they do have a purpose but I can't be bothered Mm, some more models to look after. You know, anxious I already mentioned. Um, anx anxiety from not smoking, for instance, leads to depression. Man, my engine is loud in reverse. And um, moist means you're probably getting a little too warm. Something to keep in mind. Not a huge deal. I just want to find a, fight a couple of these before we go back. I don't like fighting with many Moodles because, you know, we're not doing that much damage. We're, we're, uh, we have to use our weapon more often. Especially with weapons I like. I don't like burning through my weapons quicker. It's more something I'm a little anal about more than it's actually a big deal. Another thing that's important to know about Drowsy, it's not too bad now because we have keen hearing, but um, uh, as you get more tired, your perception gets worse. So zombies are going to be able to sneak up from behind because you can't see that far behind you as, uh, as you normally would. And that's an issue, especially if you're loading up a vehicle. 
like the trunk or the or the or the back. Um, that's a real issue because they could just sneak up on you and you don't have the time to respond. It is really dangerous to be sleepy and to be outside. Drowsy isn't too bad, but once it gets too tired, very tired, that I, then I do my very best to avoid being outside. It's all you know. It's one of those things. It's probably fine, but you probably want to minimize those probably fine situations because you know one of those days it's going to get you stomp noise we could have taken tea bag and stuff but it's not well as long as it's just drowsy it's fine i'm going to go home what is home what is home? I think this one? I see a pile of rubbish here, so this is probably home. I'll leave the van there, it's fine. I just dropped it there to load it up. I'm gonna stay outside for a little bit. I'm gonna have a smoke. Make sure nothing's following me. I'm pretty sure we're good, but... I like to be extra sure sometimes because I just don't want them to bust through the windows. I, I hate when they break the windows. We could fix it. We could board them up, all that stuff. But I just like to keep my building nice and clean, you know? Um, I don't remember. Oh, we, we have eat, eaten a lot today. So I'm not too worried about being peckish. Being hungry. It could affect your your damage output too, but um, that's usually only when you get really hungry. Like we went from peckish to hungry, you could eat a horse right now. Pretty sure this doesn't affect your damage. Mm, but if it says strength and healing reduced, then yeah, then it will reduce your damage output. Just gonna eat a can of oats. And I'll take a couple cans of food with me. Drop some of this stuff. Mm. There, that's four garbage bags inside number five. That's good. Drop this crafting stuff and the hand fork. Sweet. It's 4.30. I'm not sure what's on TV today, but because it's still so dark. Um, yeah, we might as well just hang around the TV. I'll open some spaghetti. I'm just gonna fast forward. Cheese, ham, and we're almost at BAM. These uh, TV, these TV shows are pretty funny. The way they're written, it's kind of cool. I will probably just blast through them most, most of, uh, mostly. I'm just cooking XP. But uh, I do recommend uh, reading them if you play for yourself. It's kind of fun. Sweet. We ate, we slept. Time to go out and kick some more ass. Park this van a little bit closer. So, man, this thing is loud. <laughs> it's silly. I hope I don't regret that decision to take Speed Demon. We shall see. 
Oh, before I continue, let me check the condition of my bed. I'm pretty sure I grabbed a fresh one. Yeah. Alright, I would love to loot the liquor they split. I wanna know... Oh, chiropractor's office, I think it said. Last time I couldn't um, figure out... What this was. Back to nurture. Camera stuff. And this place is fantastic. A VHS store is so is so valuable. Eh, getting stuck. I'll usually just kind of... Oh, Corso. Um, move my character. The, 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 the side you're facing is usually... It usually automatically selects a container you're facing as you walk around. So I'll just do... Left up, left up, left up. You could probably see what I'm doing. Cook show, woodcraft. I definitely want to get um, every tape again for woodcraft. And there we go. And um, a car zone. Um, something survival. Exposure survival. There we go. Thank you, game, for just now giving me that. Another car zone. Because you can watch VHSs in, not in all TVs, but in these modern looking TVs. Well, modern by, you know, 90 standards. You have this slot here. And you could put a VHS in there. And um, uh, you can watch v, uh, VHSs for experience in certain things. Not all though. I think Z Squad, one of them, I think specifically this one, gives you some XP. And Woodcraft gives you Carpentry XP, as you know, as you would expect. Exposure Survival can give you, I think, Fishing, Foraging, some, you know, Survivalist skills, which is really good. Um, car Zone will be either Mechanics or maybe Metalworking, I'm not entirely sure. I think Mother's Boy actually gives you a tiny bit of um, Short Blade XP. Because of something that happens in in that movie. Exposure survival one. There we go. Number two. That's a pretty decent haul so far. Woodcraft one and five. Magical woodland. Usually there's a, a storage thingy out back with more. Ooh, did I see a car zone? Oh, episode one again. Still though, if you get all three, you get a reasonable chunk of XP. It's really nice. Exposure survival three we already have. Exposure survival five we have. There are mods, by the way, that make it way easier to keep track of the stuff you've uh, you've gathered, like known and collected. Um, we'll give you little thingies like, hey, you have never picked this one up. It has it keeps track of uh, books and stuff you have. But today we're playing vanilla. I mean, this whole run we're playing vanilla. Hi there. Lots of booze here. So I think I mentioned last time, bourbon is good against anxiety, against 
Panic against depression. Wait, all of those? I'm not 100% sure about panic, but I assume so. <laughs> it should help with pain. It should help with, um, with getting to sleep. It's, I usually just see it as um, bonus, bonus sleeping pills. It'll get you drowsy really quick. It is actually kind of ridiculous how drowsy you get. In multiplayer, that's not a biggie. Uh, but in single player, I would never drink alcohol at the start of the day. Uh, even though there's a lot of calories in it and it does help with a bunch of stuff. So I can't even be bothered to pick up all of the booze right now because I use not a lot of it. Um, what? Not sure what I did. I think it just scrolled and confused me. But still, it's nice. It's nice knowing there's a whole bunch of uh, booze nearby. If you do run low on f um, food, you could just pick up uh, and drink a bottle of bourbon before bed. That's pretty awesome. But yeah, Moodles. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to demonstrate what every Moodle does because, you know. For instance, you'll get a Moodle if you're bleeding. If you see a little bleeding icon... Uh oh why is it not starting? There we go. <laughs> um, you're going to want to check your health panel and address whatever's going wrong. If you're in pain, it typically doesn't do too much except for keep you from going to bed. In which case you will need, um, for instance, booze or sleeping pills or painkillers. But don't combine them because that's sketchy as heck. Um, that might actually kill you. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, um, we've discussed anxiety and, um, and panic, depression too last time, it'll make you move slower. It's especially when you combine a few models, things get really hairy. There, let me eat some spaghetti. Let me donate my can to a corpse. Corpses should despawn after about a week. I think exactly a week. So corpses are kind of like an early game trash can. <laughs> Once they despawn, they take everything in their inventory with them. Oh, empty kettle. Didn't realize. We're gonna get thirsty. You can right click a puddle, do wash, fill, drink, you can drink from puddles. It is actually, it says unsafe for drinking. Um, it will cost you a little bit of health, but if that's the only thing, that's the only unhealthy thing you're doing, it's not going to kill you. Shit, there's only 20 le water left in the sink. That means we're already out of water. We've only been going for a couple days and water has already stopped. It's not a biggie. We can find water at any home. It's going to take an eternity to run out, but uh, it's just really annoying. Hmm... That does make me think we should start thinking about leveling our carpentry because I, it's not a huge thing not to have running water, but I do really like having a water collector up and running really quickly. Oh, but I don't even have a hammer. Okay. Then that should probably be the next course of action to find a hammer. Mm. 
Where am I? Is this a school? I'm not entirely sure where I am. So... Yeah, I'm just kind of um, aimlessly driving around. I'm thinking I want to find tools. Especially a hammer and nails. We can check out garages, but I'm also hoping to find a hardware store. Don't know off the top of my head where I can find one. There are also tools in schools. And I'm pretty sure we're at a school. Looks like a school. I don't know Riverside all that well. This is where, if this was a solo run, I would probably just check the interactive map. It's really good. You can hope to stumble into it, of course. Some might think that should be the way to play. I'm like, well, you know. I wanna get shit done. <laughs> Too many zombies behind these homes. I guess I'll just loop around. Try not to get too close to the corner. Anxious, strong, panic, moist. Beta blockers would be awesome. Beta blockers would help with the panic, would help us fight more efficiently, but alas. I'll have to find some first. It's one of those things, I'll, I'm always lacking beta blockers the first week, and then once I find the first one, I find more and more so quickly. Mm -hmm. I remember, if you whiff, just, just hit spacebar to push. sneak up from behind if you can I mean if you can avoid it <laughs> it's a little busier than I thought I might just burn through an entire baseball bat today Fifty percent damage. This is great because just that one noodle in itself is kind of an annoying vicious cycle. So now do less damage if swing more often. Let's see if I'm not running into too many other zombies. It's not too bad. Just go back. Moderate exertion should eventually go away, but when walking, it's extremely slow. Stamina regen. If you see lawn chairs in, in backyards, you can run to those to use them. Just wanted to quickly press V to check if we could siphon, but sadly we cannot. Just gonna take the garbage bags. I wouldn't recommend such silly 
looting things when you have zombies behind you, but... These little fences can be great. Not necessarily to cheese, as a lot of people will do, but to kind of force zombies to follow a neat, a neat line. Because they, they can't fan out as wide if there's a little fence, and half of them will have this unstoppable urge to randomly hop to the other side, and that just slows them down. It's, it's fantastic. deal with this last one and then we're gonna rest up and then we're gonna check the map see if I can find the hardware store. I was a little indecisive about where to go but I have settled on the hardware store. Because I just really want a hammer and nails and as soon as we have that I can go start by looking for homes for carpentry books and if we don't find them there we can also go to the mail depot or something, or in this, into the school would work. It would be... We should be pretty likely to find at least carpentry 1 and 2 in a school. The, the first two books are pretty common. I do think we're nearby, but my memory is kind of shit. Gonna press M for a map and then F2 to pause the game so we don't get snacked on. Um, so I do know that this main street here has a lot of stores and restaurants and stuff, a lot of commercial things, and then either this street, yeah, I'm pretty sure that this street has a hardware store, but I also know that this area is a little busy, because, you know, game knows you're going to go there. <laughs> it is uh, kind of designed like that, so maybe I'll just, maybe I'll actually try to school first, just because it can have, it should usually have some tools and janitors and lockers, janitors closets and um, there have to be books so yeah I'm um, I already changed my mind but I think this is a more solid plan Wait, butter knife, don't care about that. I haven't really loaded up most of those other zombies that we killed, but... Put the metal bar on the, on the back as a backup weapon. Ooh, duct tape. I'm also going to take the jack. Because we'll need that to um, change tires. Change wheels. Louisville map, I'll take that. I don't remember if we've re read a Roseboard map. It's been a while since I've played. Yes, we have. I think we only need Rosewood. Oh, a matches though. That one's closed. Oh, look at that. Louisville map annotated. One from Moldrow. I'll read it later. An M1911 with a box of 45 ammo. That's pretty awesome. Not something I would recommend using early on, but... Oh, and it has a key. Oh, this is actually a really nice car. I like the color too. It's bonus. And just kind of shit. Then we're not going to use it. Um, it doesn't have any fuel. The battery is usable if we need it. It has a charge. Duct tape, two of them. Hell yeah. Oh. 
And I think I checked the boot of this one. Yes. I think I'll... I'm gonna drop my food too. We're gonna find snacks inside. Schools always have chocolate, candies. Just gonna fast forward while we drop this. Now I have at least half my bag empty. It's not a whole lot, but we'll find more bags in the school. You should find backpacks, which look bigger, but should uh, will probably hold the same as our satchel. I think they also hold 15 and have the same weight reduction. I can double check, but. Mm, this looks office-y. It's so quiet in here. Desks can have cigarettes, hell yeah. Desks can also have glue and uh, scotch tape or adhesive tape, they call it, I guess. And scissors, stuff we find here too. Pencils, books. This kind of book helps with boredom, stress and unhappiness, which is pretty good. That's not the kind of book I'm looking for though. I'm looking specifically for educational books. Take a pair of scissors. And you can find those in classrooms and in libraries. This looks like a library. School libraries are a gold mine. Especially, you know, maybe not necessarily if you're still struggling to survive for a day or two. I just kind of felt like this one would come back to life. <laughs> if you're struggling to um, survive for longer than a day or two, then you might not care that much about... Um... about books because you might not be able to use it so you probably saw i did right click right click the book bag and equip onto back by doing that it unequipped my satchel my satchel is now really heavy in my main inventory i'm gonna right click this and do equip secondary and i will equip a single-handed weapon now i have two bags that i could put stuff into I'm going to take everything from the satchel, put it in my backpack. And if you have a bag in your left hand, or your right, but I, pr I would recommend the left, you still get the benefit of the weight reduction, which is really nice. See, so yeah, the school bag isn't really an upgrade, I'm pretty sure. Actually, that's a lie. It holds the same, but the uh, encumbrance reduction is 60% instead of 30. I don't know why I was so wrong about that, but I'm glad I know. So yeah, it does really help. That's awesome. All right, let's go carpentry one. That one's really, yeah. And carpentry two, the first two bookcases, hell yeah. I'll take fishing, I'll take electrician. Those are basically the ones I want the most. Metalworking, sure. Um, Carpenter free, fishing two. Oh, what was that? Angler Magazine one lets you make your own fishing rod, which is great. So if you can find, if you can saw up planks, then you can also saw them into sturdy sticks and then add twine and a nail or um, a paper clip. And you can make your own fishing rods and start fishing. 
You can also make spears, but fishing rod is better if you have the worms or, or whatever bait. Mm, hunter magazine is good. You can learn to make your own traps. Mm, what else do we want? Well, let's just see what we find first. Lane's auto manual, standard models. This is great because if you read these auto manuals, then you learn to work on cars. You learn the basics so you can grind your um, mechanics more efficiently. And um, actually, I don't think you can really do much with mechanics at all without those. So that's uh, pretty essential if you want to use vehicles a lot and be able to maintain them. At the same time, you know, if you can't be bothered, fair enough. I didn't work on cars for a long time. There, are, You can usually just find a fresh car in the world. Metal working one. Okay, I have the stuff I really, really wanted. I have metal working one and two, mechanics one and two, fishing one and two, um, carpentry one, two, three, and five. Four would be excellent, but foraging one, hell yeah, foraging two. Foraging is really useful. We'll get to that at some point. Mm, we're getting pretty heavy. A baseball bat. Yep, I wore down most of it. Check these uh, vending machines. Usually you can find pop and or chips. There we go. We found both. Beautiful. Sugary and greasy stuff, always good. Because we're still trying to gain weight. 74 and going up. B-E-A, beautiful. Shit. Good thing about the situation. Right click the satchel, drop. And we're no longer overweight. That's the only way I'd recommend carrying too much. By putting stuff in your off hand. And it's not too sketchy. I dumped... I dumped other goodies too, right? Oh there, there's a little pile there. I almost missed it. We speedy. I'll just park it right up to the pile. The zombies are gonna come to me, but I'll see what I can drop. I uh, can dump in. So doing this while sleepy would be really sketchy because her circle of vision shrinks and they can sneak around the car. It's actually still kind of sketch because they can be right here and be invisible. Because of the angle that they will approach. Oh, they actually lost interest. So we're good. I'll take your screwdriver. Thank you. Did you also bring me a screwdriver? Thank you. I don't need too many of them, but hey, not complaining. They'll make do as a weapon. There's that crawler. You can stomp them, but crawlers, because they are, can be tricky to target, I would always recommend taking something a little bit longer or something to uh, attack them. I don't care about those scissors. I have a couple. Alright, let's load those up. And I'll drop those two screwdrivers, and I'm gonna put every book I have 
in there. I didn't find a generator manual, that would have been great. You need a generator manual to learn how to use a generator. And, um, oh, I wasn't done. Um, so that's always a thing, you know, an important, an important thing, a hurdle to get over. But it can it can be in any home, in any build, well, in in any other building that has books. So it's hardly the time to stress out about it. You can, by the way, just do transfer all. Fast forward, and I'll do everything automatically. Hmm. All right, so I'm really happy with um, with the books I got. Will these get attracted to me, I think? No, I don't have to get too close, right? No. So yeah, I'm really happy with the books, but we don't have... We don't have tools yet. We don't have a hammer, specifically. <gasps> Look at that, five frozen ice cream. That's fantastic. It's also a stick of butter. That's awesome. I assume, yep, a couple bathrooms here. So I'm, I'm not 100% sure if every school has it, but there we go. Pretty sure the school should have a janitor's closet where you can find duct tape, weapons. Ideally, pipe branches and or hammers, but no luck so far. Mm. There is a cafeteria. I thought for a second that this was the, the gym. Oh, look at those there. It would be... It wouldn't be too much of an issue, but let's just leave them be for now. Little medical office. Beta blockers. A. I love beta blockers. Painkillers are great. Suture needles are great. I will take one suture needle holder and antibiotics. If you ever get a really nasty wound, for instance, you climb through an, uh, a window that still has glass in it, uh, there's a chance uh, you'll get a deep wound and then a suture needle can fix it. You can also use a normal needle with thread or just a suture needle without thread. Because that's how it works. But the suture needle uh, gives you less pain. Here we have the gymnasium. And I know that here is a storage thing. That can have baseball bats. Oh my god. All the baseball bats on this run. I'm getting really lucky. I've come here and there would be not a single baseball bat. Uh, I'll take those lacrosse sticks too. That is huge. It's already 8.30 p.m. I'm totally lo losing track of time. So I'm gonna have a quick peek upstairs. See if I can find another janitor's closet. These are probably bathrooms. I suspect this will be another janitor closet. Right. Hammers, please, hammers, bleach. 
Ooh, look at that box of nails and a hammer and two pipe branches. Also light bulbs. Dude, perfect. I like pipe branches as a weapon. But you also need them to hook up sinks whenever you do your own. Um, yeah, if you ever want to do your own building and you want to change the sink, place an extra sink, stuff like that. You want to attach a water collector to a sink. You're going to need a wrench or a pipe wrench. That's more advanced stuff. We'll get to that. I'll remind you when that is relevant. Just know, you know, pipe wrench, it has a purpose. I am so heavy. I'm 10 overweight. Again, I wouldn't recommend this, but I'm also like, well, you know, I'm trying to be a little efficient about it. Well, we all take risks. Part of it is just knowing to recognize when a risk is too much for you. I have a smoke. Because I'm anxious. I don't have to smoke yet. You can wait till agitated. But I just like to get rid of all my moodles. I think it's mostly... Shit. A good habit to have. Okay, shit. Right click. Stop running. Drop. Now we're still a little bit heavy, but it's just a little bit. I can just drop the pipe wrenches and the empty bucket here. And I think we'll be fine for weight. It's really not too bad to be a bit overweight, but... You just do a little bit more damage when you're not overweight. Especially when that drowsy moodle shows up, that's really, that's really good. To just be, you know, efficient about it. She got, she got a fork. All right. Oh right! Don't forget the satchel. So I'm actually going to get rid of the gas mask. It is quite warm. It's not ideal to uh, to be wearing that. I thought it looked cool, but I'm like, well, it's not worth. It's not worth the, the heat. I'll equip this. Drop it, fight the zombie. Oh, that's a big whiff. Stomp. Sweet. One more peek, see if there's nothing around. Nope. And then we can unload all of this into the trunk. It's gonna go fast forward. I don't mind doing it when I'm drowsy. And this stuff from the floor, we'll drop it there too. I have more in my backpack, but that can stay. Ooh, there is something that is good to know. So the normal way, what most people will do to get into a car, they will walk up here. When you're in the green box, you can press E and get in. Press E to get out. That works just fine. But especially at certain angles, uh, if the car is parked at a specific angle, it can be really tricky. Sometimes you can't see it. Sometimes it's like, oh shit, where is it? There's a zombie behind me. Where can I find it? What you can do, even if you're standing like right here, you can press Z, Z, whatever. And you get all the things and you can click one or you can press one on the keyboard. And another little thing that I already just showed uh, if you're standing at the back, E will open and close the boot, but Z and then 1 will often have you kind of teleport to the seat. It just saves, you know, half a second. I wouldn't count on it, because sometimes it does walk around, I'm not sure why. 
but um, it it's more you know quality of life. It's just nice and quick. I wouldn't you know be like oh but I can do this and save half a second so I won't get munched on a zombie you know. <laughs> Get out, fight these zombies. A little drowsy, but that's okay. Ooh. You're just being drowsy. Already made it so that I saw this zombie sneaking up from the side a little bit later. And it wasn't too dangerous. But even drowsy comes with a little bit of risk and just, you know, you should just be on your toes. Moodles can indirectly make the game so much more dangerous, is what I've been trying to say. <laughs> Luckily, baseball bat, mm, so good, so much damage. I think I saw a leather jacket. Take that. Thank you. I'm gonna eat another ice cream. Cause why not? Before I uh, do anything else, I should run inside and dump the others in the freezer. Oh, hi there. <clears throat> I wasn't really paying attention, so I barely saw that one. not home, that's home. Sweet. All right, we're good. Ice creams in the freezer. Man, ice cream is like 1680 calories. It's really good. I'm just gonna eat a stick of butter. And let's see, we probably have a bathroom here. I'll put medication in the bathroom, painkillers. Suture needle, suture needle holder. This will be my, you know, storage for that. Scissors too. They kind of feel like they could go there. I completely forgot about the, the 12 o'clock show, but I think books are more important than TV. I'm gonna drop the axe. I'm not sure why I have so many. Uh, why I have that on me? Because it's a really heavy ass weapon. I'd rather carry some other things on me. I guess I will take uh, one of the screwdrivers back and the gas can. Smokes jacket, gas mask, all of that. More garbage bags. All right, haul for bag is empty. We're getting proper tired, so now it's gonna be way easier for them to sneak up on us. So I'm just gonna go to sleep. And um, yeah, I'll loot the rest of the car tomorrow. As I always say, it's too risky to do it when tired. Doesn't mean I've never done it before, but you know. All right. Let's 
six fifty. We just missed the show. That's okay though. I can't really be bothered. If I've read some carpentry books, then I will try to get the one. But I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll maybe I'll uh, read a book today. Another really important thing to know about vehicles. Actually, first I'm gonna kill this zombie and then I'll then I'll explain. Vehicles have a couple quirks. Um, some are useful, like like teleporting to the seat. There are also some things that are a little bit dangerous, a little sketchy. Um, if you hop into the car, you will hear the door opening and the door close. Here, I'll get in, click, slam. If you hear the slam, the door is closed and the door is actually closed and you're safe and you're protected by the door as long as you have a window. But if you do this, for instance, you hop in and instantly you press W. Okay, this, this time it did close, I'm not sure why. Let me do that again. I'll, I'll press E W. Did you hear that, or did you hear the lack of door slam noise? Right now we're in the car. We see the door is here, but it's actually open. A zombie can come up to me and bite me straight away. That is really freaking dangerous. Some people will, you know, stop driving anyways when there's zombies nearby but a lot of people try to push a little bit through a couple zombies especially on the busy highway you're not going to be able you, know, you might not have the time to stop for every zombie because you know you're trying to get somewhere and you'll be like running away from zombies and hopping into a car and driving away instantly and your door is not closed and you forget about it or you just don't know it's a thing most people probably don't and a lot of people think uh, windows are bugged and even the perfect window will sometimes let through a bite. I've seen that complaint so often and I've posted it. Well, maybe not posted, but I've definitely complained about it and uh, been confused about it, googled it, didn't find anything, just similar bug reports. At some point the devs did comment on it. I think I always thought it was a known bug but I'm not sure where I got that from. I might, I'm probably wrong. It's, it actually makes, I think it's, I think it's extremely harsh, but I could see why in some people, why it could make sense. I don't know. It is super deadly. It will, it has gotten me killed several times before I even realized why, why it happened. It's really sketch. I'm out of water. There, more water in the bathroom at least. So yeah, that is very important to know. If you plan to drive a lot. Mm, I'm just gonna favorite everything here. And um... Oh, hi there. Sweet. I should carry some stuff inside. I haven't decided yet about an organizational system. This is mostly food. I guess this is mostly stuff. Hmm. For now, the piles work. I'll put the weapons. In that other pile, food and weapons in one pile, everything else in another one. It's fine for now. I'm I might just organize a little bit off stream at some point. Mm, let's go get some books. Let's get some literature. And um Wait, there are six baseball bats in the boot. Where are the baseball bats from my... I 
Ah, there we go. There are five more here in this pile. I missed that. Okay, that's pretty good. That is really good. I'm really happy with that. That is... Um, I don't know if that's stupid lucky or... But I'm definitely happy. Hammer favorite goes on with the back. I mean in the backpack. Box of nails. Drop this stuff here. Everything except for the axe and the nails. Sweet. Alright, I'll drop the nails here. And I'm gonna go find some trees to, uh, to chop down. Really happy we got that fire axe. I should probably... Um, I should probably also show you how you could make your own hammer and or axe. If you don't get so lucky, because we we really got lucky, and you might be in a situation like, oh shit, they're about to fuck up my 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 home. No 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 no, let's not do that. Fuck, I dropped my no, I have my baseball bat right here. Smash. I was just about to think, hey, it sounds like a good time for music. But it was just a little delayed. So yeah, it's uh, it's quite like uh, quite possible that you're like, I would love to barricade now, and I don't know where to find weapons or tools. What do I do? Can I be a bit more self-sufficient about it? Can I make something? Yes, you can. Absolutely can. You can use foraging to find goodies. You can make your own hammers and axes. They're not great uh, quality, but for the hammer, it really doesn't make uh, make a difference for carpentry. The hammer is just a little shit for fighting. The axe is a little bit shit for cutting trees, but... So I have the keybind set to delete, but I'm not sure what it is by default. What you can do is... Uh, you can go to the little magnifying glass on the left, you can click it, and you can do enable search mode. And then you can walk around, and coincidentally I found something stupid quick. You can do right click, pick up chipped stone, put in school bag, and now we have a chipped stone. That's actually something I was really looking for. But yeah. And then you should be able to click this away and should stay active. But if you get scared by something, it stops. Like panic will instantly disable it. And now we're not in search mode anymore. It's quite possible that for you it looks different. I have... Um, I changed the setting. There, if you go to... Escape, options, display, all the way to the bottom. Search mode overlay effect. I have desaturation only. Normally it should also blur. And it makes um, your vision outside of the circle really, really a little bit shit. But you could just turn that off. So yeah, if you want to find an axe, you want to just keep foraging until you find... Oh my god, <laughs> a branch. You can, by the way, just double click the bubble. It's a bit quicker. And it'll put it in your active container, which is in this case, the backpack. So yeah, chipped stone and the tree branch. I think that's enough to make your own spear or ax. And I think also hammer. It's possible that you also need a ripped sheet, but you should be carrying ripped sheet anyway, so that's okay. 
so now here on the left, wait, is this crafting or building? This is crafting. You can also press B on the keyboard. Then you can go to survivalist, and here the highlighted ones are things you can currently craft. So for the spear, you need a tree branch and a chipped stone. If you have a knife in your inventory, it will use that instead and do and damage it. It's not ideal, but and you could do stone axe, stone knife. If you find a bigger stone, just stone, you can make a hammer. But we're going to do make stone axe. It's going to take a branch, chipped stone, but also one of my rip sheets. So just keep that in mind. If you make a whole bunch of weapons, you might be uh, using your rip sheets. You might suddenly be without bandages. We're going to equip this. I'm going to go out of search mode. Now, there are still two ways to do this. You could do right click and cut down tree. I would not recommend this because this does more damage to the axe. Your axe doesn't last that long and there's a bug. There's a really annoying bug um, that makes it do twice the damage because I think it, uh, a digital dice is rolled. RNG calculates if damage is done to your axe at the start and at the end of a swing, which is not intentional behavior. But if you just attack the tree like it's a zombie, then it doesn't do that. If you're having a hard time uh, targeting it, it it usually doesn't work for me when I'm too close. It usually it's easier for me to target it when I'm further away. And you know, you'll you'll figure it out with trial and error. It also takes less stamina if you do this method. We're not exerted yet, which is good. Another tip, not necessary. You could just take these logs to base. It's fine, it's not too far anyways. If you're gonna be logging a lot, go to a zombie, right click some clothing, craft sheet rope, all six. I'm just gonna fast forward, sweet. Now we have six sheet rope, it's pretty heavy. Now we can go to these two logs. Right now, these logs are 9 weight each. That's 18 weight. That's a hacking lot. We can do right click, make two log stack. This stack is 6 weight. Well, it should be 18. That just makes it a lot more manageable. We'll do the same with these. You can make st stacks of two, three, or four logs and reduce 66% of the weight like this. We're still stupidly heavy, but it helps unstack logs both. I'm just gonna drop all this rope oh, because it's heavy. Someone's having fun with firearms. It's always fun. Now we're gonna do right click logs. If you have a saw on you, which I always have, you could do right click logs, saw logs, all. And we'll wait. In the meantime, I'm gonna look around me. You can do that while sawing logs because I think on my left I heard the gunshot and that's called a meta event. And um, it's, there's not actually someone there shooting. You can find other players. At least not in the current version of Zomboid, maybe in the future. Um, but it will randomly, some zombies will just move in that direction. So it's always good to keep an eye out. Alright. So now we have planks, which is great. You get three planks for each log. I'm gonna put as many as I can, well that's one, in my backpack and there I'm going to keep a couple more on me. We're a bit heavy, but we should be uh, using them soon enough. Now I have a hammer in my backpack. I have nails in my backpack. I have planks on me. Doesn't matter which inventory they are. Now we could right click on the window and we could do barricade. Awesome. Um, I think I have that heavy ass stone axe. Yeah, let me just drop that real quick. 
For now, I'm just going to put one plank on each window. And after I click barricade, I'll just press F4 to fast forward. Oh, I guess sometimes it's a little tricky. Sometimes it doesn't know which one you're clicking because they're on the same line, if that makes sense. There, this one is here, this one is up here. It's no biggie. Mm. Yeah, let me just pick up some more planks. I ideally I would like to have more on each, but now at least they can't easily break the windows, you know? At least there's a little bit of safety there. I'm carrying way too much shit on me. The backup bed can go. Apologies, by the way, if you can hear fireworks. It's almost New Year's. And in the Netherlands, that means for a couple days before New Year's, it's safe to buy fireworks. Uh, legal to buy fireworks for consumers. So sometimes people get a little bit nuts. <laughs> I'll try to uh, suppress a little bit in the recording, but hey, sometimes it's a little tricky. Alright, put a second one on in each if I can. It's not too late, we should have time to uh, cut some more trees if we have to. I will actually also barricade the kitchen door. Alright, where are the planks? Um... Yeah, let's take this axe, a better axe. Um, let me rephrase that. Some axes are better at others uh, for are better than others for cutting trees. A wood axe is ideal. Fire axe is pretty decent. The hand axe is okay. The stone axe is a little bit crappy. It takes more swings to fell a tree, which means you know more uh, stamina is used. And you have to keep making more of them. They really don't last that long. So a fire axe is pretty good. It's uh, yeah. Then again, for combat, it might be different. For combat, this fire axe here is a bit on the heavier side. It's three kilograms. So in combat, this uses a lot of uh, a lot of stamina. When you're at that point where you do a shitload of damage with it, that's less of an issue. But still. I'm gonna pick up the sheet rope. So we have uh, a heavy load of lumber here. Gonna put my axe away, I'm gonna have a quick smoke. I think all in all I found 60 smokes so far, so it should be good for a month. It's pretty awesome. Let's see, if I stand here I can make a, la a log stack of four. You also get random branches, twigs. Yeah, that's it, from cutting trees. So those branches you can use for spears, for, uh, for other makeshift weapons, which is really good. You can replenish your axes as you go. You can use, uh, if you already have some knives. You can also, um, I don't see one right now. You can do right click on the bush. And do right click here. Remove bush. And um, you can also do that with an axe, I think. But with a knife you can also do it. That should that also gives you a pretty decent chance of getting branches. So if you don't have any weapons, you can use that as a as a way to get spears. 
All right, now what you can do with these stacks, we're currently at 28 weight, which is stupid heavy, or you can do right click and equip secondary. And then you can equip a different weapon in one hand and we're saving some weight. That saves us seven kilograms of weight. Actually, I'm gonna also pick up this one and equip it primarily, as a primary. So now we have wood on both our hands. We're carrying a shitload, but it's not even that bad. We're at 25. If I had to kill a zombie right now, I would just quickly press 1. Or double click my baseball bat, and then we get 15 heavier. But at least we have a weapon, and we're slow as heck, so I don't recommend it. I wanted to doing it because I'm close to home. For demonstration purposes. I'm gonna take this stack, and I'm gonna place that here. My character will automatically pick it up and move it. And... I don't know. I'll place this one around there too. Unstack these logs. Take these four logs. Saw logs. All four. I'll press F5. Saw go bzzz. I'm just gonna fast forward for this because, you know. I assume you get to just if you press a third one suddenly we can't see the inside of the room if you press a third barricade line of sight is blocked so if that matters to you um, if you do want to be able to look outside or if you cannot find sheets for the life of you you can place a third barricade and a uh, line of sight is blocked, which is really useful. If you don't want that, you can go inside, place two from the inside and two from the outside. And you have pretty good protection while still being able to look, look outside. And then you can add a sheet on top and you can open and close that from inside. You have good protection, but you can still peek outside, see if there's no zombies nearby. It's, you know, whatever you prefer. Either is a valid strategy. Alright. So I'll go bzzz. Pick those up. I have four on me, that's it. Yeah, I think so. Oh, shit. Six o'clock. Nope, that's on barricade. All right, we are, let's see, we have 40 nails left. That's fine. At least we have some left. If we have to uh, replace some, that's okay. Ideally, I'd like more, but I'll find more over time. I'll keep these... These logs here. And I'll put the sheet rope on a pile. You can... In theory, you can make in... Endless... Um, endless... Sheet rope. Thanks to uh, zombies respawning, but... Yeah. Let me just grab a couple more ripped sheets. Unlike having three or four on me or so. I would recommend, you know, more if you get wounded regularly, but... Sweet! That was a pretty productive day. I'm gonna go eat an entire tub of ice cream. I think we've deserved a snack. You never know when power is going out, and ice cream does rot eventually, sadly. In the past I didn't used to, but they changed it in an update, and I mean, I guess that's realistic. Everything rots eventually. Uh, oh, we are 75 
and up is a healthy weight and we are at 76 so we're doing really good 80 is kind of like the baseline weight 75 up to 84 is healthy so that's really good so yeah i'm gonna read carpentry i probably no i don't know i don't think barricading is really worthwhile isn't really a relevant amount of xp so it's not like oh we 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 could have gotten more i i'm just really happy i have some barricades on there i'm gonna quickly go to bed i think because we're wakeful we should wake up before six then we might be able to catch the first show whatever it is Maybe it's like fishing or foraging, that would be good. And I'm just gonna sit here and read my book. At max speed. I'm not even sure what that was. May have been cooking again? I think there was another cooking show. The first show will give you a whole level, the second one won't unless you've read the book. Cause you know. RPG mechanics. Second level always requires more XP than the first. We are agitated, so I should really have a smoke. I'm gonna open... I'll take a fruit cocktail and one... Vegetable soup. And I put canned tuna and tomato in my backpack. Sadly, those cans of food, they're heavy, but they don't offer that much nutrition typically. All right, fast forward for that and for that, and we're good. I should, um, uh, I should find a. I should add. Uh, I should get my hands on a, a bin so we could get rid of this. Sometimes I have used uh, a microwave as a bin because I don't use it all that often, especially if I have an oven. But I wouldn't put cans in there because if you accidentally do turn it on and you have cans in there, it's gonna start a fire. <laughs> so yeah, just a little warning to end it off. Because yeah, this is where I'm going to end it. Um, I am definitely going to be continuing the series. I uh, appreciate your positive messages and everything. And I've been having a lot of fun with this. Um, I don't have a strict schedule yet. I do want to post at least two videos a week. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But thank you all so much for watching. Um, leave your comments if you have any questions or anything. And I hope to see you all very soon. Bye bye.